Hey guys, today my brother and I are going to be unboxing this Dell Inspiron 145410. So it's basically the unit that we got in replacement for this Dell Inspiron 145493, which is two years old, but it's had a bunch of problems. So we reached out to Dell and they sent out a replacement and we're going to be returning this. Do you want to say hi, brother? Hi. Okay, thank you. So some of the specs are written on this sticker over here. It's the same screen size as the other one. Also has a webcam, of course. The processor is an 11th Gen i5 instead of a 10th Gen i5, which means it has a higher clock speed, pretty cool. Also eight gigs of memory, also 512 gigabytes SSD. The uh, integrated graphics card is a bit better because of the newer processor and it comes with Windows 11 pre-installed. And it has a four cell battery instead of a three cell battery and it has a wireless uh, AX card uh, and better Bluetooth, I think. So that means it's Wi-Fi 6 instead of Wi-Fi 5, which means it'll have much better Wi-Fi speeds predictably. It has a Type-C. This one did not have a Type-C, which seems pretty interesting. And it says it comes with a one-year warranty. I don't know if that means it'll get added on to the warranty that we have left on the other one, or whether it will be a new warranty now that I think of it. Okay, time to open the box. has silica gel, of course, power adapter on top, which is 65 watts, which I think is the same as the last one, and the rest of the power cable, we'll put that to the side, and take the laptop out. Here is the laptop. Looks sleeker, no? It is. Okay, so the design is slightly different. The color is similar. The Dell logo is slightly, no wait, no, is it similar? I don't know, maybe it's slightly smaller, but so far it looks pretty sleek. I think this is smaller than this. this is... You're right. Yes, so that means less bezel, which means the screen will look better. Do you want to open it? Sure. Okay. I will adjust the camera and the time. How does it feel? Pretty oh, I think it's durable. Backwards. backwards. The material's different. More metallic, yeah, that's nice. I think it is it. Weight is similar. Feels more premium, which is pretty nice. Now we can check if it has it any juice in here. Yeah, it does Way feel heavier, you know? Yeah. Okay, well at least it feels that it feels like it's made of a better material. That's all that matters. Okay, so now we check if there's any juice inside. Oh, it has the thing that some Asus laptops have. It elevates the keyboard a bit when uh, you open it up. Okay. Actually, I'm so sorry. This is a very bad habit to put a laptop on top of another laptop. Oh, wait, yeah. I will put it on here. And now we check if it has any juice. Do the honors. Sorry, I did not adjust the camera properly. It does not. Really? Oh, okay. We plug it in. Do we cut? Uh, pause. Yes, we will cut. Sorry. Okay, so we've plugged it in. So, first impressions. We think that it's a lot more sleek than the other laptop. Uh, it looks a lot more modern. Feels more premium. Has some slightly different ports as well. So while it boots up, we can show you the ports. So it has a micro SD card instead of a full size SD card. It has a USB-A port, an audio port on the right side. Then, I'm so sorry. On the right side, it has a Type-C port, a USB-A port, and an HDMI port. Um, I do not remember what the other laptop has, so I will quickly check right now. So the other one had a Kensington USB-A uh, full-size SD and one additional USB-A port. Whoa, that is the Windows 11 boot up. 
and an Ethernet. So this one's missing an Ethernet, but it has a Type C port, which has Display Port, which is pretty cool. Do you want to set it up? Yeah. We missed the high, but we are basically. Oh come on, no, this doesn't take too long. Right? Hmm? Update doesn't. Send. Oh. Okay, whatever. Cool view. Time lapse. Time lapse? I don't have enough storage here. Oh. Um, I think we might have to record the rest of the video after I come back. Okay, I'm seriously recording. Okay, so we're done setting up Windows 11 with all the things that needed to be done. Uh, here is the laptop all booted up. Uh, I didn't give you a close up of the sticker earlier, so here is a look at it. It is, sorry, that is kind of blurry. It's a 14 inch full HD display. It has a web cam a camera privacy shutter thing which basically means you can like move it and it turns the webcam off. That's a mechanical switch, pretty cool. Uh, and it also says it has Dell Mobile Connect, uh, which is an app that comes with it. It has HDMI, of course, precision touchpad. The touchpad feels a lot better than the other laptop. It's kind of like glass, but it might not be. It's probably just some good quality plastic. And it also has a Type-C port with display port uh, support, which means you can connect a display through the USB Type-C port on the left side of the laptop. Now, I haven't used Windows 11 that much, but I'm gonna try to find if the specs are what the box claims they are by going to about your PC in system settings. It says eight gigs of RAM is installed. I don't know if we will be able to add this RAM later on um, because it might not be the exact same type but I'm assuming it's still DDR4, but I don't know, maybe I'll have to talk to Dell and ask them if the stick is compatible. If it is, that would be very cool because then we'd be able to get 16 gigabytes on this machine. Uh, it is an uh, i5 11th gen as was claimed. Clock speed is pretty cool. 64-bit, um, yeah. Windows 11. Okay, so far so good. I don't know what else I can search up. I think there's this thing called System Info. You know what? Seems legit. So, brother, what are your impressions about this laptop so far? Um, it's pretty good. It's way better than the last one because of a lot of reasons. Go on. Um, totally not putting um, you on the spot right now. Yeah, I don't. There's gonna be as much of issues with this laptop, and hopefully, I can gain better on this. Okay, very cool. So that was the Dell Inspiron uh, 5410 for you. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Okay, sorry. Last thing that I'm recording. One thing that's really cool is that it can record with the types. No, what am I saying? Sorry, one thing that I forgot to check was that it can actually get charged via Type C as well. Although I see this yellow exclamation, yellow triangle with an exclamation mark in it, which I think means that it's not getting enough power because. Uh, the MacBook Air charger that I have is only providing 30 watts instead of its own 65 watts, but it might fare better with a 65 or 60 watt um, charger uh, which the MacBook Pros use. Also, the storage is in fact uh, the 512 gigabyte uh, drive that they claim it is, although only 415 is free, which is pretty normal because most of it is already used up by the system. But yes, that is all I wanted to add. So far, the machine seems pretty sleek and nice. Uh, thank you for watching.